I would say it was a dream come true for every Sith Lord to become immortal in the end. As much as the Jedi achieved serenity within death, knowing that they will become one with the Force and especially after Qui-Gon learned what he did in the afterlife, the Sith were far from that. They were mortified about death. The closer they came to the end, the more they were paranoid and lashed out. In Revenge of the Sith, immortality plays a big factor. In fact, preventing people from dying is the main factor why Anakin becomes Darth Vader, and immortality does serve the purpose of not letting people die. Well, in one of the most recent issues of Dr. Aphra, which is the 2020 comic series that just started a couple of months ago, in that comic series, we get a new revelation about the Rings of Val. Naturally, this would interest the Sith very much so, especially Darth Vader, who wanted to become immortal by any means. Once delusioned by the death of his wife, now he wanted to become the ruler of the galaxy with his son, and he had big aspirations for his own empire. Similarly, Palpatine had the same idea, although not with Darth Vader, who he had used up decades after. Now he wanted Luke Skywalker, the replacement of Anakin Skywalker, who would serve him very well beside his throne. And the Rings of Val make perfect sense for anybody who's down on his luck, or at the very least, they served mostly the general populace. The Rings of Val were basically if you could win the lottery. Imagine winning the Galactic Lottery where everything you ever desired is on that scale of magnitude. It's not just 10 or 20 million dollars, but in a galactic scale, it is much, much bigger. It brings riches and immortality that you could not fathom. The first issue starts off on Echo Base on Hoth, sometime after the battle took place there, and now the Empire was scavenging for rebel contraband and weaponry, which Dr. Afro was more than happy to steal, together with her companions. Patriots, they were on a mission and treachery lurked at every turn. Luckily, they were able to escape the Empire and Hoth and go to the Outer Rim, where they could not be found or seen by the likes of the Empire, anything of that nature, until Detta. Detta Yao, a fourth year grad student, found Dr. Afra and she had been searching for Afra specifically. Back when Afra was lecturing, Detta was one of the attendees and she was a very big fan of her work. But Detta had come to Afra with a proposal. She was writing a doctor dissertation on the Rings of Val, a pair of mythological artifacts made by an ancient order of guardians. Except now they were not myth. According to Detta, she had found a lot of clues that indicated these two rings were actually real and tracking them down would be worthwhile for both of them. Of course, Afra being the scoundrel that she is, she knew something was behind this and there was a catch. Otherwise, the university would have funded this expedition for themselves. Detta went into further detail about these two rings. According to legend, the rings grant their wearer eternal life and boundless fortune when they're worn together. The sad part about this is that she could not convince the university that they're not made myth and they do actually exist. But she was convinced that they do and if both of them could find them, this would go down as the find of the century. But there were also clues that these two rings were also cursed. You could just not get the good without the bad. Later in that comic, Professor Eustace Aka goes into further details about the rings of Val. She says that if worn by the same person, these two rings will bless the wearer with eternal fortune, eternal life, and abilities that would rival the most powerful force user, or so the story suggests. Imagine this, Darth Vader, who has a very close relationship with Dr. Afra. if Darth Vader could find out about these two rings, and I'm very sure that in the coming issues, Darth Vader will appear and actually pursue these two rings 
for himself. Imagine if Darth Vader could grab a hold of these two rings. Not for the fortune, I'm sure he's not interested in that. Although we've seen Vader go after credits simply because he was interested in creating his own empire and his own army, creating a schism within the empire where he could overthrow Palpatine. But imagine the eternal life and the abilities that would rival the most powerful user, which debatably is Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. Even if it is Sidious, he would get those abilities and more. As Darth Vader, these powerful force abilities would be supplemental in nature. Darth Vader could actually become a dictator of the Force. These two rings, the Rings of Val, were created by the architects of Val, an ancient, long-forgotten society that lived in the city of Val on the planet Dian. According to these legends, these two rings would provide one with eternal life but would drive the wearer to madness and the other one would give whoever wore it eternal fortune but would hasten his or her death. But as many understood it, when worn together, these rings would cancel each other's negatives and the wearer would be fortuned with great power. To make matters even more clear that Darth Vader will indeed at some point get involved, although not in the first and the second issue, in the third and fourth issue, I believe Vader will be there because not only is Aphra involved, who has a close relationship with Darth Vader, and Vader is pursuing her actively, but there is a key player that wants these two rings as well and that is Ronan Tage, Cassio Tage, the general that was now dead at the hands of Darth Vader himself. So just to point this out, there is no doubt in my mind that Darth Vader will get involved with the Rings of Vale and this storyline is heating up without Vader at all so imagine if he enters the frail as well, even if it is for one single issue. And just the expansion factor alone, I mean Star Wars is going into some mystical stuff here with the Rings of Vale. And who knows, a lot of other stuff might be introduced in the coming weeks and years throughout canon. Star Wars was always grounded in a way. The old trilogy is always deals with the facts of life and the facts of the force and, and the nature of it, but now we're going into some mystical stuff. The Rings of Val definitely showcased that together with the world between worlds and many other mysterious things that work in mysterious ways. Whether it is a Sith machination or a Jedi artifact, it is very interesting to see where the, the future holds for Star Wars canon under Disney. And the way it is going, it's becoming expanded in a way that we might not recognize it, but we might love it as well. It is something that I'm looking forward to, but I truly don't know how to wrap my head around it because there is still not a definition of the true Star Wars. Even the crystals making them bleed is far away from the legend's lore where it is simply a crystal that then you can get and it varies in color. So guys, talk to me down below, talk to the content creators of these comics, tell the writers that you want to see Darth Vader in the next issues. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video though and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you until then.